Hey there, this is Chris Brother with Foothill College, and today I'm going to show you how to log in to Etudes and get your right credentials in order to log in. Uh, so there's three things we need to do. We need to create Etudes login details, we need to log in, and we need to reset our password if we lose it. To figure out our login details, we'll need our name and our student ID number or campus-wide ID. So for this example, we're going to use someone named Gloria Chung and let's say they have the student ID number of 1234567 so their user ID is the first two letters of their first name the first two letters of their last name and five of the last digits of their student identif identification number or campus wide ID so in this case it would be GLCH45678 um, for your password, it's a little bit different. Um, if your birthday is April 22nd, 1991, your birthday looks like this in smaller format, 042291. Your password is 0422. Now remember, this is the first password that you use in order to log into the system. If you have set your password previously, then it is that address. Pause the video now and take a minute to create your own user ID and password. So in order to log in, we're going to open up Firefox, you can see here, and we're going to go to myetudes.org forward slash portal. <coughs> in this situation, uh, if we have our user ID and password, which we just figured out, we can go into this upper right hand corner, type it in, minus chbu50033. Password, can't tell you that one. After we type that in, all we have to do is click log in, and we arrive at etudes. That's it. Now I'm going to log out and show you what happens if you forget your password or if you maybe lost it. Type in the wrong password here, log in. If we don't know our password, what we have to do is back out, go over here to the reset password. This is pretty easy. It's at the myetudes.org forward slash portal. Click on reset password. All we have to do is put in our email address. Now remember this is the email address that you signed up um, for your community college with or that you signed up uh, in order to attend classes with. So this is not your latest greatest email address, it's the one that is connected to um, the community college you're working with. Alright, that's it.